Hello, I'm Stan Hall. Welcome to this edition of the Gwinnett Sports Commission's Get in the Game. Uh, in case you haven't heard, we have some exciting news we want to share today. We have a new indoor professional lacrosse team coming to our area and they'll be playing at the arena at Gwinnett Center. We have two folks as our guests today who will be able to share some of the information about the team and the upcoming season and we're very excited to share this, share this with our viewers today. Our guests today are Andy Arlotta, who is the co-owner and president of the team, and also Alex Shimke, who is the director of media and player relations. Guys, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Thanks for thank having you. us, Stan. Well, sure. first of all, welcome to Gwinnett, welcome to Atlanta, and second of all, why Atlanta? What brought you to Atlanta? Good question. You know, first off, we're super excited to be here. You know, uh, when we were looking at, at places to relocate the team, uh, a big part of it was what's the population, what's the arena, and uh, it, you know, those were two of the main items that we looked at. And with the lacrosse demographic here growing tremendously, I think by 2017 you should have about 18,000 kids playing lacrosse from right. kindergarten on up. So that was a huge piece of it. But um, another big piece of it was the arena. Uh, the facilities <clears throat> here are outstanding. Yes. Uh, you, you know, the, the people that we've been introduced to at the arena are very welcoming and, and supportive. And then uh, we've been here throughout the week this week and gotten tremendous uh, support throughout uh, Atlanta and the Northeast uh, Atlanta area. Alec, I guess being involved in the media as you are, have you had a similar response from the local media here as well? It's, it's been fantastic. <clears throat> Everyone has uh, you know, welcomed us with open arms. They're excited about the sport. And people here are very knowledgeable about lacrosse. You know, they know the, the players on our team. They, they've seen games here in Gwinnett County. Uh, so everyone's really excited and a good reception so far from the local media as far as coverage. And you know, I'm just looking forward to meeting a lot more people in the, the coming weeks. Well, absolutely. And, and from a, a community standpoint, Andy, and also from a media as well, I can tell you that I've also sensed that same uh, level of excitement on all levels of that. So we are, we are very uh, interested to see how this plays out. I welcomed you to uh, Georgia because it's new for us, but certainly this team isn't new to the league. Uh, you are moving to the Atlanta area from Minnesota. Tell us a little bit about the history of the team. Sure, the team, uh, the, the Swarm have been around for 11 years. Uh, my father and I purchased the team seven years ago. This will be our, our eighth year in ownership. And it, you know, it's, it's been a, a great ride. Uh, and we're just really excited to be here. Uh, you know, and I think that, uh, I think that there, there's a lot of folks who are somewhat like myself today who may know a little bit about lacrosse but not, not that much about lacrosse. And then there's people who are watching who are, you know, who are, are saying what took so long to get them here. But let's, let's, let's sort of talk to that, that crowd today who may not know as much. Tell us a little bit about the history of lacrosse. Uh, not only in the country, but sort of about your league, and let's just start that whole conversation. Sure. The NLL, the National Lacrosse <coughs> League, is uh, entering its 30th year. Um, we currently have uh, nine teams in the league, uh, four of those being in, in North America and Canada, five in the United States. Um, we anticipate some growth here uh, throughout the states and Canada moving forward. Um, it, it's, you know, I, I tell you, it's uh, the fastest game on two feet. Uh, we're playing the game on NHL rink size uh, uh, arenas and um, we're throwing a turf down. We have uh, five on five with a goalie. It is uh, a lot of transition. You have 20 to 30 goals scored a game. Uh, we have a 30 second shot clock, wow. uh, over and back uh, penalty violations. Um, you will also notice that uh, it's uh, you know we're not just going after the lacrosse demographic. This is a this is a game that that uh, you know it can reach the masses. Uh, if you like uh, you know the physicality of hockey, but also the uh, skill set of uh, you know basketball with the mm -hmm. pick and rolls, and if you like a lot of action in game entertainment, this mm -hmm. is this is going to be your sport to watch. Absolutely, Alec. I, I'm assuming that you're probably a student of the the game as well. Tell yep. us a little bit about. The, the, I think, Andy, you may have told me this in an earlier conversation, but this is a sport that originated from Native Americans, is that correct? Yep. Yeah, the, the sport has an amazing history, uh, a Native American sport, and you'll see a lot of Native Americans in our league. And on, on the Swarm, uh, we have four Native Americans, um, Miles Thompson, who is one of the most household names in lacrosse, the Thompson <clears throat> brothers, has a younger brother, Lyle. They played at University at Albany, but it's, it's a very important sport to them culturally. They call it the creator's game. 
you know, uh, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, it was played um, as a medicine to the, the Native Americans, a way to settle disputes and really connect to their community. So it has great roots. And in Minnesota, we are very active in our Native communities uh, with camps and clinics and help, helping bring the game back to the Native community. And that's something we look forward to continuing now in the Southeast. Absolutely. So Andy, there's a, just to make sure I, I've got this right, there's an indoor league and an outdoor league, correct? Yep. What, what are the basic differences in the two? Yeah, you're going to, first off, the playing surface. Uh, like I had mentioned, you're going to play on a NHL rink size. We're throwing the turf down, um, in, as well as um, how many men you have on the field, uh, five on five and a goalie. The field game is a uh, few more people than that, a uh, few more players than that. Uh, you're also going to see more goals being scored. Um, it's a little bit uh, more fast pace and, and a little bit more um, physicality to mm -hmm. it. Now, your players, is it very uh, comparable, and, and Alec, maybe this is a question for you since you're involved in the player relations, is it comparable the way you attract your players as the, and I don't want to call them traditional sports, but maybe the sports that some folks are more familiar with, football, baseball, basketball, it, do you get your players out of uh, universities and colleges, et cetera? Yeah, absolutely. You know, our players are coming from the top. D1 colleges on the East Coast, you know, lacrosse powerhouses, Syracuse, Duke, North Carolina, Cornell. The sport is growing so fast, and, you know, it's even moving <coughs> westward now. You saw Denver just won a national mm -hmm. title, the first team west, um, you know, to, to pick up that honor. So our players are the best lacrosse players in the world. You're seeing a lot of Canadians, too, that are getting Division I scholarships at these schools because they played indoor lacrosse. And just because of that reason, it's tighter passing lanes, you know, tighter spaces to shoot on their skills are that much better and that's why the box game is so hot right now and especially even in the southeast Atlanta and Gwinnett County you're seeing box leagues uh, starting up as well as kids are developing their skills it's great for the younger kids to get touches especially at the young age absolutely well you guys have talked about how exciting the game is I think you actually brought a clip of an example of a game that you had let's take a look at that and see really how exciting the game is based on this uh, example we have today an NLL fan is, uh, is, is crazy and in a good way. They're so loyal to not only their team, but their sport. They're never missing a game. They're never missing a beat. They know every single song that plays in the game. It appeals to, to younger fans and to older fans because it's unique. You know, it's something they haven't seen before. and It's a great thing to kind of bring your family together. It's everything. It's the goal songs. It's, uh, you know, their little sayings when guys get penalties or certain people score or our goalie makes a save. The little quirks that we put on, you know, the themes of each game and how they're always involved in. Scoring a goal even when they do that little thing like that. And I think the goal dance is great because every single game, whether it's an old fan or a new fan, you know, everyone's doing it. My parents, I brought my parents to the game and they even thought it was catchy. You know, my father start doing the, the goal chant with them. It's funny now, every time I hear that song, that's all I can picture is people doing that dance. And that's the main thing that's, that's different, is everyone else in the league just watches the game. Our fans are part of the game. Well, I can see why you think it's an exciting thing to go watch. Uh, you know, I haven't seen a professional lacrosse game yet, uh, particularly indoor. So after watching what we just saw, I can't wait to see it. The excitement there is unbelievable. It is. Uh, we're excited to get you out to a game, Stan. And it, I, it's going to be fun. I, I, I think a lot of people are going to be excited to get out to a game. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, I want to talk about some more things involved, involving the Swarm. We're talking today with folks from the Georgia Swarm, the new indoor lacrosse team, professional lacrosse team that's coming to Gwinnett County in the Atlanta area. We're going to take a short break. Stay with us. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't worry. 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. 
NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. Welcome back to the show. We're talking today about the Georgia Swarm, the new indoor professional lacrosse team that's coming to Gwinnett County in the Atlanta area and will be playing at the arena at Gwinnett Center. Guys, we showed a clip just before the, the break we took there, and obviously the talent there is incredible. Alec, I know that the league has their uh, draft coming up pretty soon. Tell us a little bit about, you know, preparations, the availability in the pool, et cetera, that's coming up this year. Yeah, this year's draft, is it's regarded as one of the deepest, you know, in the history of the league. Uh, and we're really excited. We have four first-round picks. That's the most in the league. Uh, we hold pick number one, three, five, and six. So we have a great opportunity to strengthen our roster with some, some young talent. And the thing about our league, too, is our, the first round and even second round talent in these drafts, they're ready to step in and play significant roles on teams. Um, and the players in this draft, like I mentioned before, Lyle Thompson, he's a, a top prospect brother of Miles Thompson. And you also have a lot of top all-Americans who played in the, the Final Four in Philadelphia wow. recently, too. So, again, great opportunity to strengthen our roster. And like mentioned, these are the world's best lacrosse players. So the new fans in uh, Gwinnett and Atlanta are going to love watching these kids play. I'm sure they will. Andy, I know from reading about the team when they were still in Minnesota that you've always had a vested interest in being involved in the community that was very important to your entire organization. And I'm assuming you'll continue that when you come to Atlanta. Absolutely, and we feel you know that we've been blessed with this opportunity to uh, be working with the pro sports team, and you know the importance of really getting engaged in the community has been one of our number one uh, missions. And um, you know, with box lacrosse being a newer sport at the youth level, that's one area that we focus right. on in, in developing uh, youth box leagues um, at a <clears throat> local level, and then as well as a, at a traveling level. So that's one area, but we also get involved in other areas. How can we give back to the community? Uh, again, we feel like that's very important. We need to establish these relationships with, with the community and you know whether we're working at the Ronald McDonald House or whether we're um, packing um, bags for um, Feed My Starving Children, that's, that's the sort of thing that we do and, and again, we feel it's important. We've had some major initiatives in the past of really working with the native communities, this being a Native American sport. Mm -hmm. um, we've also felt that that's a key area that we need to give sure. back to. And with the players on our team, it's a, it's a great opportunity to get these guys out in there. Yeah, well, let's, let's get down to, to some really important things that, um, that the fans are definitely want to know. And that is, when does the season start and when does it start? Sure, our season will start in January. Um, it is uh, an 18 game season, nine home, nine away. All of our games are on the weekend. So it's on the either, weekend? Yep, yep. It'll, it'll be either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday games. Uh, they last about two and a half hours, and um, it'll go through May, and then playoffs start in mid May, and, and hopefully we'll be playing into June. And Alec, I, I think following up on Andy's comment about community involvement, that certainly carries over to the games themselves, where you said that it's really interactive, I think, between the fans and the game and the players, et cetera. So. Yeah, our fans almost feel like they're in the game. It's so family friendly, it's so interactive. Kids absolutely love coming to the NLL professional lacrosse games. I know the families here in Gwinnett are going to love it. It's affordable, it's clean, fun, too. Our games actually have music playing all game long, too. So you even know, when the game's going on. Even when it's going on. The players tune it out, but the fans love it. So people are dancing. We have an amazing goal dance. People get up on their feet and start dancing wow. after goals. So I think it'll be something that people haven't seen in this area, and it'll, it'll really bring a great entertainment value to you know, your families. Well, I want to talk about two final things before we close out today. Number one, I know you have your website already up and running for the area here. Tell us what the website is, Andy. Sure. You can, you can get information on us and watch some videos at georgiaswarm.com. And, and the last thing I want to mention to the folks watching today is that uh, I know that the, the official announcement uh, about the team uh, coming to Gwinnett and Atlanta is coming up pretty soon. And I think you said that you would, the public was totally invited to that. Tell me a little bit about that date and, and where they need to go if they want to be a part of that great, great event. Sure. It will be July 16th, a, a Thursday morning. And like you mentioned, we're going to open it up to the public. We hope to get uh, 
you know, a bunch of the, the youth lacrosse players here and, and a lot of um, uh, we're going to be bringing in our, our players as well. We hope to make it a couple day campaign, um, maybe put on some clinics and, and some camps and really start to uh, engage the community then and with our players. And you can buy tickets on the website, is that correct? Georgiaswarm.com, yep. Yeah, great. Start as low as $20 as well. Perfect. Well, guys, you, you have the invitation to be there on the, on the big news being released to the public on an official manner. We hope we'll see everybody out there. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by and spending a little time with us today. We appreciate it. We look forward and are excited about the upcoming season. Welcome to Gwinnett. Welcome to Atlanta. Thanks for having Thanks, us. Thanks, Absolutely. That's all the time we have today. If you have comments or questions about today's show or ideas for future shows, you can reach us at the phone number or the email address shown at the end of the show. I'm Stan Hall. See you next time on Get in the Game.